Well, just let's let's start off with this story about the couriers. Yeah. Because this weird thing has happened in Cape Town on the main road. Yeah. And a courier company, it doesn't matter who, which one, mm. one of them, you'll see the pictures of the um, the truck, but somehow it was stopped by the cops on a major road, mm. and they had dogs with them. And Did they have a warrant? Already they had dogs with I them. Think it was a K78 or It was like, it was, a, it was actually, Wait, so they, then they, yeah, it was like okay. a premeditated thing. So they they've obviously been planned. watching something and then they've been waiting to see where it's going to be going to tighten mm. the net or something. So the, the dogs found a whole bunch of weed mm. easily, mm. which is a bit problematic for me because if, you can, if the dogs can smell weed in the back of a courier truck, then you're yeah. doing it all wrong. Yeah. Really. So here's the new plan, guys. What we're going to be doing is we're going to start rubbing weed on everything. <laughs> everything. Yes, everything. And when the cops start harassing you and there's no weed to be found, then you can sue them for unlawful arrest. <laughs> Which brings us back to the cops <laughs> learning about how this police directive works. You see, yeah. there's some, it's near Somerset West, so they stop the vehicle, and it's, the pictures imply that there's two vehicles, and there's weed oh. in one and there's money in the other. And that was the that was the dude that found like it out. Eight, so. That's a good dog. That's, that, that's the a bad job. That's the police a slave. Job, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's the other slave labour that the police use. Yeah. He's um, he's an innocent bystander. He just yeah. knows what weed smells like. He didn't for Warren John Smith was on the thread, and he found all of this out for us. And he actually put um, courier guy's response up. Yes. And courier yeah. guy says, "We can't check every packet. We don't know. And yeah. you know, we take it on face value mm. to what it is. We we have to." Other companies don't, but Curry yeah, Guy seems to. You have to operate kind of assuming that people are abiding by the law. Yeah. The like, the otherwise, then they have that. to check for every other instance where people could possibly be breaking the law, mm -hmm. sending, so not just weed, like weapons, oh, abalone, yeah. abalone. Exactly. everything. Yeah. No, yeah. I Sanchi heard about Subway, yeah. not far from me, where they recently bust uh, in Mechalisburg, but an uh, abalone farm or something. Really? Yeah. Abalone farm in Mechalisburg. Well, not farm, but they yeah, had one of the farms they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow. if you're going to operate as a business going, well, we have to make sure that every parcel does, I mean, yes, you do your normal, your best sort of effort, but if you're going to go all guns blazing and make really specific requirements, then I think it's, you have to do it for everything else then. Well, that's it. So, um, that's it. the thing is, on the group that, uh, that put this out, um, everyone was saying, how can you possibly do that? And it's, it's really crazy that the dogs could find it because you should really be double bagging it. Yeah. You should Some have something bags. in between the bags, whether it's charcoal or coffee, pepper. coffee or even even rosemary or lavender or something. Some other essential but, words. Yeah. but I think what's going on is people are actually getting complacent because yeah. they do this as it's their lives, you know, it's their livelihood. They're, tra they're training on social media, they're, so they just mm. there's lots of yeah. I think so young, being very, uneducated yeah. people, and they just like, oh, they're I'm too the small. They maybe think they're too small mm. for. Um, someone to be worried about and then they get bigger and bigger but then as we know with anything the more you get used to something mm. like the you know frog in hot water you yeah. just don't realize that well, it's actually so getting maybe it also falls back to what we were saying earlier about the legalization <laughs> thing frog like a frog in hot water, water. <laughs> Isn't that the saying? Yeah, no, it, is. it is. I, I pulled it quickly from my yeah, information right, yeah. bank right. and I threw it in there right. without double checking. My so the oh. th this is two days ago. So this morning we get photos of a bust that's happening not far from where those trucks were on the road in Somerset mm. West and they've gone to the, the where the package is addressed to. Uh, addressed uh, to or addressed from? Uh, well, if you are addressing address from, address from you've got to have your fucking head read. Yeah, no, you well, why are you put, just, you better put your address. Return, return to sender, you know, like... <laughs> oh, he's going to have my weed back, you couldn't find the... 200 delivery. grams of weed or whatever. So, um, here, that mm. sniffer dog bus, this one that's up here now, um... This is because of the truck being opened, mm. and it's a, it's a celebrating a million rand drug bust, which is like um, just another round figure. But there was some pictures of um, quite a lot of stuff, actually. There was a lot of shrooms. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of organic stuff. There wasn't any nasty stuff. And if you look there on the right-hand side, there, the Pretoria bug, drug bust cups seize drugs. Look at all those little plugs. 
Oh, and they're so and they made up a five million rand. Those could hole. be microgreens. I'm just saying. You yeah. know, yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> a little bit spot. It is microgreens. Yeah, I mean, moment. you you never know. They're just really know. like. Um, craft microgreens where yeah. each little one is tended, each yeah. shoot is tended Arts to. <laughs> now the Arts crops are indeed out in full force, and I've seen uh, those big K78 roadblocks. I went through one this morning yeah. uh, on the way to work. Well, they do it on the highway. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been seeing them all over the place, all over I mean, the place. But how do you know they're legit? You must ask them. Yeah. They yeah. have the paperwork. Yeah, and they're not allowed to. Yeah. They're not allowed to take your weed unless it says on the warrant that they're looking for weed. Exactly. But even it's then, they still have to have good enough cause to say that you're no, not just. they can search any car. Uh, yeah, they they, but, to but to take it away from you, so it's fine. You oh, say, yeah, you, yeah. like, I'm going on holiday. Yeah, yeah. I have my yeah. five grams of weed in my jar for fine. the weekend. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, no, but that's going to be that fine. That should be fine. Yeah. But I guess just be respectful and kind of explain then and say this is what it is. Yeah, I yeah. smoke a lot of weed. This is a. Three grams per joint. Uh, sorry, yep. three joints per gram. There's ten grams here. I'm mm -hmm. away for seven days. By that time, the cops like, okay. Well, just have your know your rights brochure. Exactly. I had that with me when I went to the And the police directive that shows that yeah. the arrest should be the last option. Yeah. So it should not be the first option. It should be the very, very, very absolute last option. Yeah, we need a roadblock app. You're right, Russ. Well, there is. Oh, wait. wait. Waze is a road. Waze is a, yeah. You can drop it, on Google you can Maps drop it with well. Google Maps is a bit slower. It's okay. I prefer Waze when I'm. But Google owns Waze now. Get oh, the really? fuck out of here. Yeah, because I got blocked for reporting too many potholes the other day. Real <laughs> fucking <laughs> story, I tell you. You like the. And uh, <coughs> the email address is um, waze at help at google.com. Uh, Jesus, I didn't uh, know that. Waze help at google.com. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. So it didn't. Whatever. But it's that's at, yeah. interesting. No, they, I, I heard ages ago that they bought them. Anyway, that's not what we had to talk about. <laughs> but so, yeah, yeah, roadblocks. But I see nighttime ways tends to not really put them up full on. Well, the actual night road road blocks, road. Yeah, for so drunk like driving, a, that's fine. It's got to push, but like a bedroom is a push where they can put all the yeah. little roadblocks up. But don't use the cop one. Choose the, there's one that says road hindrance. Mm. Choose that one. Ah, that's very clever. Because then at least if there's anything, even if there's like a... it shows that road is closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just drop that one there. I dropped like a couple. Oh, wow. Okay. No. Nice one. Well, there we go. Good advice. So, so you, see um, you see, the thing is, that, that when you find weed in the back of this truck, you see the weed for, for, the first, for 100 years, and it's got to be dealing. It's got to be... It can't be a Christmas present. It can't be a swap. It's got to be dealing, and if you're dealing, then you're a bad druggie, and then you've got to go to jail or something. Unless so you're what, sending stock down to you going on holiday, you don't want to carry it with you on the plane, you're sending it by a courier to your destination so that it's there when you get there. But was it huge amounts they found? Yeah, yeah they carried how, with it how much did they find? Was it well, that's an a million they rand. They just give us a million rand, they don't tell us. No, so two no, no, ones in the courier. The one that was in the courier, though. We don't know. They just said know. it's worth a hundred million. No, that was the growth. All of those two reports. A couple reports. of syringes. Uh, couple the, of syringes and some bud. Yeah. Oh, the actual like little parcel. Yeah. So maybe there's people ship. that think it's legal. So then, they're sending their friend. Yeah. And now this friend. morning, there's another thing happens, in Zanin. Something happens in Zanin, that leads some people, leads the cops to a bust in Pretoria, but that was on Monday. Yes. That was Monday's bus. Yes. Yeah, that was the yes. very first one the of the 16th. week. Yeah. And we know who it is. And they're out on bail. And this, this thing here you see from the SAPS has actually named the plot bucks. and written the name of the crime scene in their directive. And we checked earlier. <coughs> and you can zoom straight into it on Google Earth. And now everybody oh, knows no, that it was a is. bunch of druggies in that house or well, something. Well, they're, they're not a bit, you are, I suppose. What are lollipops? Yeah. Lollipops, CBD, medicated, medicated lollies. Oh. Like, so, like, yeah, yeah. Now they're, they're it's hydrophonic dacha there, which means... Hydrophobic? Hydrophobic, yo. It's hydrophobic, so it's, it's like afraid a, of water. And then it was hydrophobic. So <laughs> hydrophobic. maybe dry bottles, that hydrophobic is dry and it's scared of water. And hydrophonic... Hydrophonic is it's great one. you can it's hear it underwater. <laughs> you can hear it. You can hear it growing underwater. Oh great! <laughs> That's what it means. Do an and, ASMR video. And look at this. They know. also Ooh. took a motor vehicle, which is called Asset Forfeiture, yes. which is uh, pretty much coming to an end. You can't Just presume that a beaten up fucking own. Ford Fiesta is the proceeds exactly. of selling some dime bankies. Yeah, I know. But you they can't. took it. You're so. 
the message is, boys and girls, the fight's not over yet. And be uh, uber super cool about it yeah. all, because we all get menus. We all get all of your menus yeah, and all of the them. Happy Christmas stuff from it, fucking Kratom to There was another bus cookies. today in, in Bedford View, but there they found weed and meth. Well, that, yeah, but, and meth. that, that really, dude. That bus in Be Bedford View was like a cool, there you go, this thing here with cool. a, like a Rate My Grow. It's all pretty scruffy in there. Um... <laughs> We don't know whether that was part of the bust or whether it was a little part of the grow. There's only one picture on each of these. It's yeah. as if they don't even happen. But we only got to see one of them. And that was, that's good enough for us because three busts in a week is enough. 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 Yeah. So that's going to bring us to what is our poll this week, right? Yeah, have you got the poll? Yeah, so the poll this week is do you A, use a well-known courier, B, use a smaller unknown courier, or C, rather grow your own? Um, but what if, okay, let's do that. Yeah, or make your own meds. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes the curry is not used by dealers, it's just used by people who are sending exactly. some butt to their friends. Sharing. It's sharing. Yeah, it's, the, yeah. it's a courier guy sharing system. It's a valuable community service. Yeah. I'm sure if I was used to like Uber to her boyfriend. Sometimes, yes, like, you just stick it in something and give it to the Uber driver. Like, what is it like, as a birthday present? A subscription Ducker private club kind of vibe where everybody pays their membership, somebody does all the growing, and then once a month sends out harvest. Yeah. Via courier. That's their own yeah. weed that, that they're getting. That they, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? So uh, it's a very grey area again. It's incredibly grey area. And, and, um, we should get one of the lawyers to come in and talk to us about this maybe one day. Well, Ricky was on the group commenting mm. about it, and um, he said, "You should if 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 there's weed in the bag, they're vindicated." Yes. But if they rip open bags looking for weed that they think's in there, that's another matter altogether. Yeah. That's it why was, we need to rub weed no, on everything. No, no, no. Yeah. So yes, it's just everything. So what about weed. CBD? Weed. CBD infused checkers packets. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Biodegradable. Biodegradable CBD infused 30 milligram okay. per square meter and oh, then wow. the dogs will go it's mental like on it. Yeah, they will. Yeah. 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 But it increases the risk to all the other people that are smuggling all the other drugs in there. No, leave them all alone. I would imagine that the couriers are the backbone of the black market now. The, oh, the, 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 you know, yeah. but who, who go, the post office doesn't exist anymore as a concept, really. Yeah. No, okay. and I doubt well, that people, gets I mean, well, other than going out and like meeting someone and doing the normal, you yeah. know, like meet in a parking lot parking or whatever. Lot. <laughs> but now, hopefully, everybody knows that PostNet and Aramex are just no go. They They're not prosecuting, they're just no go. They they're don't want to no carry go. illegal substances, yeah. they just yeah. toss them. Yeah. As no, far really. as we know, there's never any criminal charges, they just, just don't want to be involved. Mm. So that's okay. I suppose. Except it's wasting I mean, stock. If you think about it, we're all, you know, moaning about everything. Yeah. Go to some other place in the world. We're really lucky at the moment with this yeah. guy. The grey area is a lucky thing. Remember Mark? Uh, it means you have a chance. Yeah. We've Mark, become right. spoiled brats really quickly. Totally. Anywhere else in the world, once you, you get fuck, nicked, really? you're nicked. There's no fucking system to get out of. No, it's you can't rural. bail out. You, you're in it. Yeah. So some here's like, so grey, my brutes, grey. Everything.